Jung Brody Kemp is next, and he's going to be wearing number 17. Uh, I don't think we're going to see him play many games this year. Potentially, he might suit up in the VFL, but from what I'm sensing and what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling out there, I feel like we'll just be really cautious with him, and there's absolutely no need to rush this guy. I saw him train the other day, and it was the first time I'd seen him you know, moving in the flesh, and He's a really big boy. He was running on the sidelines with Harry Mackay and Mitch McGovern, and he's not that much shorter than them. Um, he's got some 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 wideness to, to gain, but again, he he's his main focus for me in 2020 is just to get that knee right. He's working with Andrew Russell. He's got a guy like Sam Doherty who's been through you know the severest of all knee injuries, and I think he's got a he's got a really good environment around him, and he's got an opportunity to just focus on himself. No external pressure. There's not going to be any media scrutiny around him this year, and I think that's going to allow him to prepare himself for 2021. Now, the only real highlights I've seen of him are the ones that the club put up uh, when we drafted him and. Just the way that he's able to, you know, play that inside midfield role, roam across half back, roam across half forward. It's pretty scary the potential that he has there. But again, this is all just conjecture. This is potential. It takes a whole level of work to be able to do it at AFL and do it successfully and consistently and at a high level. And so there's a few boxes to tick. But for me, it's just all about getting him fit and healthy for next year's preseason. If he's ready and, you know, we want to reward him with a game maybe in the VFL to start off with, then I don't see the harm in doing that. But for me, this reminds me a little bit of the Max King situation at St. Kilda, where they didn't play him at all in the AFL in 2019. They just let him bide his time. And he played some really good games in the VFL towards the back end of the year. So having said that, I don't have a lot of, a lot of knowledge about him. It's just really what I've read and what I've seen. But if since there's anyone out there that knows a little bit more about him, please let me know in the comments below and let me know what you guys think. How should we best approach Brody Kemp's 2020?